everybody, and welcome to the first edition of In the Hot Seat featuring Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Patty Cesarini, and today I am sitting down with assistant women's basketball coach Crystal Davis. Coach, thanks for being here, and you are in the hot seat. Well, thank you very much for having me. It's a pleasure, and I'm excited of for course, all Of course, of course. What do we have going on? So the first one we are going to dig into is mild, I believe. Yes. And we'll start off easy, an easy question. So um, I heard you're a bit of a shoe snob. <gasps> you're a little sneaker gal. So what is your favorite type of sneaker? Yes, so so we're starting off with mild. Starting I want to make sure I'm yep. grabbing the correct one. Oh, wait, so, did I grab the wrong one? I yeah, I did grab sure. the wrong one. I think that one That's was the, the hot, hot one. one. <laughs> we don't want to <laughs> start off bad. on that one too, too fast because we'll be in some trouble. Okay, um, mild. But, but back to the sneakers, yes, yes. I'm, a, I'm a huge uh, one, I'm a big Jordan fan, mm -hmm. and uh, I have a lot of Jordans in the closet. The players kind of make fun of me a little bit because I have too many and I don't there's wear them never, enough. There's <laughs> no such thing as having too many shoes, okay? Okay, this isn't bad. This is actually pretty good. This is fine. I can deal with this. Um, not too spicy? Uh-uh, not too spicy. Got a little bit of a kick a to little, it. A little kick, but not bad. Are um, you finishing yours? Are we yeah. challenging? Yeah, we're going to we'll, we'll finish let's it. Do it. Let's go. Okay. We're back to the shoes, one of my biggest, Easy. my number one favorite shoe, Jordan 1. Very classic. classic. Can't go wrong. You can pretty much wear it with anything and everything. Mm -hmm. It comes in so many different colors. Hot. You can dress it up, especially since COVID. Away games, we kind of dress more in like a, a quarter casual. zip. Yeah. Some dress pants, put some Jordans on. Good okay. statement piece. Get ready for the game, go out and compete. Yeah, so then do you do all the... Um, like the bidding and the auctioning for all the shoes and stuff. Like, and you have any tips or tricks for, <laughs> for the rest of us who might not be so into the shoe game? Yeah, the sneaker game has gotten a little bit crazy, especially since the yeah. last dance. I don't do much of the bidding and, okay. and selling piece of it. I really enjoy it because it's a lifestyle yeah. type piece. It's definitely a statement piece with what yep. you put on. Like you walk in a room, people know that you're wearing Jordans. Oh, well, yeah. So I mean. that's a reason why I wear, wear it mainly. Okay. So yeah, good question. Right. Nice. Yeah. Okay, um, let's move into our second cool. wing, um, Asian Zing. Yeah. And my next question that I have for you is at Glenville State, you were a head golf coach and an assistant women's basketball coach. So how did that work? Like the, how did you even get into that? Because the pace of the games are completely different. Yes, two different, two different styles of games. Mm -hmm. It was very interesting. So as an assistant coach, they kind of, once I got there, really hired in to be assistant. And then they had to head golf coach open up. I've golfed a little bit, so they kind of asked if I was interested. And really? That's kind of how it happened. Loved it. Mm -hmm. Loved every bit of it. Again, got a chance to teach a different style yeah. of a different sport. Like you said, it's completely different. Yeah. When you're out on the course, you can't cheer. You can't do nope. any of that. You have silent. to be dead silent. And then the, the little class time. at the end. Yes. <laughs> so definitely taught a lot learning the game and then different style of not being able to cheer as they're mm -hmm. swinging or if they hit a great shot God, you can't just be like I'm trying little, to keep it together but <laughs> a little bit of a kick <laughs> on, the, on the Asian zing I'm gonna try and finish it we'll see mm -hmm. but it's actually really good has a good flavor yeah. to it but then switching on to being on the basketball court and then having all that energy and cheering them and motivating is typically definitely yeah. different but in a sense you still got that competitive side yeah. you're still competing and it's still fun in the, in the long run, and what, you're definitely helping all the, the athletes that come Yeah, through. what so. one do you prefer? Basketball, yeah, basketball. hands I mean, yeah, you're here now. I love golf, here now. Yeah. love golf, but that's what I grew up playing, and that's what I did, but I still have a love for the game of golf, too, as well. Yeah, yeah. so then do you play occasionally, like, in the summertime and stuff like that? Yeah, definitely okay. during the summer, get out and play a little bit, work on my game. Not that great at it, but that's definitely fine. love doing it, absolutely. Fine, yeah. All right, let's finish it. Let's go. Okay. I'm trying to do it without the water. We're going to try it. Got a little kick. You can do that. I'm not going to do that, though. I'm going to drink the water. <laughs> <laughs> am I starting to sweat a little bit in it? A little bit? I am. Like, my nose is starting to run a little bit. I'm not going to lie. I'll be honest. It's kind of hot. But they all taste good, though. Mm -hmm. Really good flavor. Got they a little good. bit of a kick to it. Yep. Shout yeah. out B-dubs. Absolutely. Um, okay, so then now... You were there, you were doing golf and basketball. Yes. Now you're here. You were a little, um, 
at a few places in between, but Absolutely. now you're here. And so what is kind of your role under Tungate? Yeah. So basically I'm assistant coach, of course, and still in all his principles, all his um, missions for what our program is. Um, mainly just helping our student athletes grow as people on the court and off the court is a big mission. Yeah. Making sure they're getting their education because that's extremely important yeah. to everyone in our program. Also making them a better, um, where they're able to compete, making them their best selves on the court as yeah. well. So they get, and then also having experiences. Uh, it's getting to you. I told you, my nose is starting to run. <laughs> it's getting to you a little bit. To get together, I'm starting to whoop. sweat a little bit. I know, it's getting really hot in here. <laughs> yeah, but just making sure when they leave here, we're setting them up for life. Yeah. Um, so that's the biggest piece. Um, and then while they're here, making sure they're having an amazing experience. Yeah. So, and then mainly I work with guards. Is okay. Specifically, um, wasn't a post player. <laughs> I was going to say. At all. Sure but we all, stature, we but... all touch every part of it. We're all yeah. a piece of it. Um, and we do our best to instill what Coach Tungate wants in yep. our program because he does a really good job, especially making sure our players yeah. um, are taken care of both on and off of the court. It must have been a little bit hard last year if he's like such a pivotal piece oh, um, with him, you know, being out for a good chunk of the season. So yeah, absolutely. Um, and he's, he's back and yeah, he's, he's back. He's ready to rock and roll and he's doing an amazing yeah. job. And uh, we're looking forward to this year. Uh, we have some great pieces. Um, experience back and again we kicked off with our first practice and yep. not too long ago mm -hmm. and we're full go so that's definitely exciting and we just can't wait until um, the first game of yeah. the season so um, well that leads me into my last question and our final uh, wing a hot wing uh -oh. I'm really nervous <laughs> we got to the last one I know the most tough we're here and we're gonna um, try and finish it we're gonna try and finish uh -oh. it but we'll let's see. dig in so yeah let's have a bite first. A uh -oh. lot. Oh, um, let's do it. That's hot. <clears throat> <laughs> That's pretty hot. Oh my god. It hits pretty quick. My eyes are watering. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay. Okay. My last question. Yes. Let me get it out before I take my final bite. Um, Woo. What are your goals for this year? You personally and as a coaching staff and as a team? Yeah, I think we touched on it a little bit again. Just making sure academically um, we're completing our, sorry, whoo, just got kicked <laughs> to it. Academically we're, compete, we're completing what we are set, our goals are for and then also on the court. Again, we have, we have some new pieces that came in and then uh, we're making sure we're always trying to go for the Horizon League. So that's always our looking goal. for a ring. Making sure we're top, you know, in the top. So we're giving our ourselves the best chance to be able to compete for it. Yeah. We did a great job last year and now we're just going to build upon that. Absolutely. Okay. I'm going to do it. I'm going to leave the water. Jeez. You are a tough and Ooh. brave soul. I am, my mouth is on fire. Absolutely. Like I wish we had ranch or something to take the heat away but um that is all the questions that i have for you today yes. so thank you so much for sitting down with Absolutely. me and battling these hot hot wings i know no thank you for hot. having me <laughs> that was tough yeah. i'm over here sweating i know me too big time so and thank you so much you gotta go to practice after this Absolutely. so good luck Coach. thank you appreciate it um yeah good luck stomach wise with the wings <laughs> <laughs> hopefully you don't have to do too much running around in there yeah. and then um lastly good luck this season thank you appreciate of, of it of course and that is it for our first edition of in the hot seat i'm patty sesterini thank you to b-dubs and we'll see you next time